Good day everyone! Since lesson 1 is a synchronous mode, I made this video to support our module. I would like to give credit to the real owners of the lessons that I'm going to discuss and all the pictures I inserted here, they are all not mine. For this video, I will be discussing lesson 1 which is the basic about personal finance. So financial experts say that personal finance is 80% behavior and only 20% head knowledge. So for me, this simply means that our actions regarding our personal finances is more important than our knowledge on it. Success in personal finance relies heavily on how we carry on what we learn. So let us now have some of the definition of finance. So kindly read the succeeding slides to have some sort of review of its definition. So the first definition that I have here was given by Webster. Okay, so try to look at them to review the definition of finance. And we have the definition taken from dictionary.com. Then the definition taken from Wikipedia. And the last one is that finance is a term describing the study and the system of money, investment, and other financial instruments. So, based on the definitions that you had read, we could take down important terms used in the definition. Of course, we have money, funds. And financial resources, actually they are the same money funds and financial resources. Then we have investments. Then we have financial instruments as a form of investment. And then we have the term study and the system of money. So when we talk about finance, we will study money. We will study funds or financial resources and also the system of money or how we're going to manage our financial resources. So basically, uh, finance can be categorized or divided into the following areas. The first one, we have uh, personal finance, and then we have corporate finance, and then we have public finance. So our subject matter for this semester, of course, is personal finance. Okay, so the first area or category, which is public finance, so as the word implies, so it refers to the system of ma and management of funds, no? So, but we're talking, of course, uh, with the government funds, or the funds coming from the revenues, such as the taxes, other income of the government, uh, different grants and aids and donations, and of course, the other sources of funds of our government. So that is all about public finance. Okay, then the next area or category is the corporate finance. So when we talk about corporate finance, so it refers to the system and management of corporate funds. So what we are looking at now is the financial resources of a corporate type of business. So come, uh, the funds are coming from the investors or the shareholders and the creditors of the corporation. Okay, then when we talk about personal finance, 
So it refers to the system and the management of personal or household or family funds. So this focuses on the sources of funds within the family or personal source of funds. Then we have the savings, the investment, managing of credit, insurance, retirement, and all other, other aspects no, that will help us attain personal financial health. And that, and that will be discussed in our video number. So if we're going to look at uh, figure one that I have on your module, so we have there the framework of personal finance. So our personal finance, of course, involves uh, financial decision making. So ganyan naman talaga ang finance, no? Whether corporate, whether public finance, or whether personal finance, this will include financial decision making. So we will make decisions about our funds or about our financial resources. So there will be financial planning, personal financial statement, financial analysis, budgeting, cash management, and financial forecasting. And take note class that in finance or personal finance, accounting is involved. So we have to account, we have to record, so we have to quantify. No? Uh, uh, we're talking about quantitative information no? in personal finance. And then in economics, so we have to maximize the use of our financial resources because we know that our resources are scarce or our resources are limited. Okay, then lastly, the secondary discipline is the information technology. So nowadays, we have different computer applications. We have different uh, spreadsheets no, that could help us manage our personal finances. Unlike before, that we are just using our calculator, we're just using our paper and pencil in our financial making. Okay, then let's move on with the importance of personal finance. So in personal finance, if we're going to manage our money well, so it will ensure that we could able to meet no, our money needs. So hindi tayo may stress. Hindi sasakit ang ulo natin sa mga problemang financial. Then, we can easily manage our income. So, we are not just after having an income. So, we could uh, know where to put our income. So, of course, that will be in the form of investments. Then, budgeting, spending, and saving becomes key. Okay, another set of importance of personal finance. Personal finance and cash flow is healthy no as what i had mentioned earlier no so masarap mabuhay na meron kang financial health then it offers family security so you are not worried na kahit mag-retire ka kahit maging senior ka na or kahit wala ka ng trabaho your family yourself is secured then it offers better financial understanding so we're going to have a different perspective no about Okay, then the last set will be, it keeps you off unmanageable debt. So, wala naman sa atin ang may gusto na mabaon tayo sa utang. But in case we have debts or liabilities or credit with us, of course, there is a proper way in order to handle those debts para maging debt-free na din tayo. And that could be learned in personal finance. So, it, personal finance also helps you in growing your assets, no? And uh, through investment, of course, through having different uh, sources of income. Okay, then lastly, we have raising your standards of living. So, ito naman yung gusto natin, di ba? So, to have a uh, life, no, which is free from debts, so which, uh, on which we could able to experience financial freedom. Okay, so that would be all for this video. Thanks for watching and good day again, everyone.